Hey guys, it's PT Gamer Girl 11 back with another video. This is going to be a pickups video. Pretty much all of this stuff came from yard sales with the exception of a few things that I forgot in the last video. So we will start with the DVDs that I got really quick and then we'll go into the games. So first for DVDs, and I don't collect DVDs, I just pick up ones that like I can resell to get video games with or ones that I actually enjoy and like to watch myself and want to add to my not my collection but like to my library of games because when I moved like all of my movies from my childhood got left behind with my little sister so basically all of them that I want back I just if I find them cheap I get them so I got Hotel Transylvania for a dollar this was sealed Open Season for a dollar I love this movie it's so funny The Great Gatsby never seen it Surf's Up. I actually really love this movie. A lot of people hate it, but I love it. Masters of the Universe. This was also a dollar. I, for some reason, don't remember this, but according to my mother, I was obsessed with the cartoon Masters of the Universe as a kid, and uh, she said she never could figure out why, but I think it's because they always had like a, like a moral lesson at the end, and I've always been that like moral lesson type person. That's probably why I liked it. But because of that, I picked this up and I learned something new about my childhood that I did not know. So I got that. I got My Side of the Mountain, which is a really old movie. Ratatouille. All of these were either a dollar or two dollars. I'm pretty sure... No. Yep, every one of these, I think. Yeah, every one of these were a dollar. So I got those. And then I got... Frozen. I actually had the Blu-ray of this, but it's just a disc only, so I figured, I don't know why, it, just, it was a dollar. Then I got Pinocchio, which I don't have, I actually want it. Um, the only Pinocchio I had at my old house was on VHS when I was a kid, and I don't have a VHS player here, so I can't play it, so I was really happy to find that for a dollar. And these Blu-rays were also a dollar, so I figured why not. Despicable Me too. It also comes with a DVD. I also got this one, Puss in Boots. I have not seen this one yet. I I don't know. Like I'm a lot of people love Shrek, and this is kind of you know the cat from Shrek. I'm not a big Shrek person, but it was a dollar, and I know it's like a spinoff technically of the character in Shrek. But if anybody's seen it, and if it's any good, let me know. So I got that. I wasn't gonna pass Blu-rays up for a dollar either. Alright, so, on to the gaming stuff. First, I forgot these in the last video, and GameStop was having like a buy one, get one half off on PS Vita, DS, and 3DS games, I believe. There might have been a couple others in there, but that's the ones that I looked at. So I got two PS Vita games. There's actually a story for this one as well, so be prepared. Now, both of these do not have the insert, but this one is... Uh, Persona 4 Golden. You probably can't see it, but there's the cart right there. And Street Fighter versus Tekken right there. So both PS Vita games. No, you probably can't see them very well. I believe I got the Street Fighter one half off. It was like 10 bucks. I don't remember, honestly. And then I got, there's a story between these two. I got Metroid Samus Returns. Originally when I got this, it was in a, like one of those generic cases with the game inside of it, but the case was like literally torn to shreds and was taped up and everything. So I had to basically, I basically just wasn't going to deal with that. So I went back to GameStop because I realized that they actually put the new version new version on sale for it was like two bucks difference than what I paid for the pre-owned version online so I figured I would just return that one and get the new one which is what I did with this so I ended up getting the new again new GameStop version it was already open but I love that game if you have not played that game yet I highly recommend it 
And I did not have The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds, and I got this like for really cheap. It was like six, seven bucks or something like that. So I decided to get this one as well. This one did come with the, the case, and this one's actually in here. The other one's in my system right now. So, got those. And then at a yard sale, I got an Attend Dogs, Dalmatian, and Friends because for some reason, this was a dollar. But for some reason, this game, for if you have the Elite Pro at GameStop, it trades for $7.20. And I'm about to do like the 50% extra trade in credit. So for $7.20 for this game, and that's without the 50% extra trade in credit, that's a dollar. Yeah, I'm gonna do that all day. So, got that. And then, let's see, I got Wii Sports was 50 cents. This is another one I got to trade because this trades for six bucks, I believe, now at GameStop. So, I got that. This one's for my collection just because I don't know why. I've, I've wanted to see this movie and I haven't seen this movie yet, and it's a kid game. And I paid too much because I ended up paying $4 for this because the woman was just wacko. But, uh, I <laughs> got Rise of the Guardians. And, basically, she had, like, the Call of Duty games, even the really old ones, were like $5 each. And then all the other games were just randomly priced. And originally she told me, like, 15 for all of them. And then for some reason, I had, um, Rango, because I loved Rango the movie in there. And I figured, you know... She was going to give them to me for 3 for 15 and I know that was too much, but in my area, I didn't think I was going to find anything else, so I was just going to pick them up. And then for some reason, she changed the price of Rango to $5, and I was like, and she wanted $18 for all of them. I'm like, no, just put Rango back. I'm not doing it. She's like, but it's a really good game. Rango at GameStop, I believe, sells for like 3 bucks. On eBay, it sells for, well, no, wait, it wasn't GameStop. Rango on eBay sells for, I think it was four bucks. It was three or four bucks I saw it for on eBay. Like, free shipping, literally. There was a copy of it for, like, four bucks free shipping. Why am I going to pay five dollars at a yard sale when I can get it cheaper on eBay? I don't understand people's concepts. But anyway, <sighs> this one is complete. Um, The kid there just wanted to get rid of his stuff. This was his games. And she just kept, like, like... You sure you want to get rid of I have Xbox games in here from him as well. And she just kept like, are you sure you want to get rid of them? You still play your Xbox. The kid's like, I don't need them anymore. I've got different games that I play now. I don't want those. And she's like, well, it's worth this and it's worth that. And she literally told me that the day before, she sold a Wii, regular Wii, for 75 bucks. And I immediately thought in my head, I don't know who bought a Wii for 75 bucks, but whoever did was a complete idiot because... They're not worth 75 bucks. I am sorry. Wii's are, like, basically not worth anything now. And, you know, she was giving me this whole lecture about how Wii's were, like, worth money and all this stuff. And how these games that are worth, like, two or three bucks. Like, let's get real. It's like a two or three buck ga dollar game. But at the time, I was desperate. So, she was, like, you know, giving me this lecture about how they're all worth money when they weren't. But anyway, it's a long story short. It kind of pissed me off. But... Uh, the other ones I got from there are Xbox games, so they're in the Xbox pile, so we'll get to those in a minute. But I also got Nerf and Strike Elite, and these were $2. I don't know why I wanted this. I just thought it was something different that I do not have in my Wii collection, which I'm kind of running out of different things for my Wii collection, even though you'd think that'd be impossible with all the, like, crappy games that are on Wii, but I'll pick that one up. Then I got Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, which I have on PS2, but I wanted the Wii Edition, so I got this one, so I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the PS2 version. It's also complete. This was $2, I believe. It was either $1 or $2. And then for $2, I got Harry Potter. Here's 1 through 4. This is purely for trade-in credit. This was a dollar. I believe I'm going to get, I think it's like four something trading credit. And then plus the 50% extra will give me a, a decent amount on it. So I have this for PS4 as well. But, I mean PS3 as well. But I'm also trading in that version because I want to trade these two in and basically get the PS4 version that has years 1 through 4 and 5 through 7 for uh, 
they're on one disc and it's in better format and better like HD quality so I'm gonna get that one and then I got Epic Mickey 2 the power of two this was two bucks I also already have this game but this one is complete I don't know if, if anybody's interested let me know and I will do a trade I was thinking maybe it was worth something for like trading credit but it's only worth like three or three or four bucks so I don't know if I'm just gonna like stick this in a lot and get rid of it and get more money get stuff that I want or um, it's also if, it, if again so for trade any of these things that I say that I want to trade game stuff and all that if you guys are interested in trading let me know and if the if it's not gone before then we can work something out so yeah I picked up this for two bucks and then I these were GameStop fine I mean GameStop it's like midnight sorry <laughs> um these were Goodwill finds and I just picked them up because they were GameCube games and I already have one of them but I always pick up GameCube games now because I mean even for the cases alone for two fifty, I think is what they sell them for at my Goodwill I'm not gonna pass them up and I mean I did have this one but I think this one's in better condition so I'm probably gonna keep this one and this is Happy Feet I love this movie I just think it's so cute but um it came with like everything that was originally in it. It's basically in brand new looking condition. So I'm going to update my copy for that one. And then this one says Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. But on the inside it is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Has the Goblet of Fire manual too. If anybody has the Goblet of Fire game let me know because I would like that so I can put it in here so I can add to my collection. Uh, if you want Prisoner of Azkaban, I will trade you because I have Prisoner of Azkaban on PS2, so I don't need it. So let me know about that if anybody has that. Because I would, when I picked this up, I did realize it was the wrong game. But I didn't have this case. And I thought maybe I can find this, like, you know, pretty cheap online, which you can. It's like five bucks or something like that. But I would rather trade somebody if somebody would rather trade. So. I figured I'd, I would pick it up. The manual and everything's in like really good condition. So if I can find a copy to stick in here, I would love to add it to my collection. Then we'll go to the PS2 and PS3 and then we'll go to the other stuff because I'll probably go on a tangent about the Xbox games. <laughs> uh, first, Walmart, when they're, you know, I mentioned I think in my last video, they're doing like this 10 20 $30 game deals. They also had some, last time I went for $5, but they were all, like, really old, like, not really good games, so. I picked up Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 for $10, because I had the first one. I figured, why not get the second one? And also, it's on the PS4, so now they both match, so it works well for me. Only problem is, right now, the game's loose in here, so I need to open this and put the game in there. But I love Mega Man, so I was not going to pass this up for 10 bucks. I know technically that's probably all it's worth now, but still, I mean, it's a new game, so I figured why not. Trying to build up my PS4 collection. Then, I got RS Writing Spirits from a yard sale for $2. I don't know, like, I, I tend to like motorcycle games. I tried this one. It is complete. And I just, I don't like it. I don't like the controls, I don't like the background, I don't like the way it plays, I just don't like it, period, basically. So, if anybody's collecting and needs this, let me know, because I'm looking to trade that one. And then I got Monster Jam Maximum Destruction for $2, which I thought I didn't have, because I have like three or four different versions of Monster Jam, and I thought I didn't have this one, but I do. So if anybody's interested in this for trade, as well, let me know. It is complete. And both of them are in good condition. They both work. I've tried them both out. And then... Did I get this one the last time? No, I didn't. I picked up... I can't remember if I got this one last time or not. I could have swore I picked up a Spider-Man game last time. But if I didn't show this in the last video, I got Spider-Man Web of Shadows. And I have a lot of the Spider-Man games. I just think they're fun to play. And I did not have this one, so I thought I'd pick it up and add it to my collection. Now, the inside of this case is disgusting. I don't know what got inside of it, but the manual is basically toast. I just need to throw it away. It's it's completely, like, basically a brick. But the game is in good condition, so I figured 
I would pick it up and add it to my collection. Just need to throw out that manual and clean the inside of the case. That was a dollar or two dollars. And then I got the same with this one, Top Gun Combat Zones. I believe, was it PS2? He had PS2 games and he had Xbox games. And like for some reason he wanted like two dollars on the PS2 games and he wanted a dollar on the Xbox games. But And then some of them were different prices. These two... I believe were two bucks. So yeah, if I remember right, they were two bucks. So I got Top Gun Combat Zones, and I had this on GameCube, but I did not have like the insert or manual or anything for it. And this one's complete. So I'm gonna get rid of my GameCube copy. If anybody's interested in that, it doesn't have. It's just the disc only. But if you're interested in that, let me know because I have that up for trade. I'm just gonna add a PS2 version to my collection, and then. For the Xbox games, I paid $150 for this one, and this is the original Xbox Blood Rain. And it does not have the manual, the disc is in good condition though. And this is actually like worth more than $1.50. So I'm going to add this to my Xbox collection. I don't have many games like this, so figured why not add it to the collection. I found this one. I was happy to find it, but I wish it had the insert in the manual. So if anybody has the insert in the manual for this, please let me know because I really would like the actual official insert in the manual and not like print it off. So this was $350 and it's The Witcher 2. This is the enhanced edition for Xbox 360. And it has the two disc in here. There's a two disc, and then it has the soundtrack as well, right here. And I had The Witcher 3, of course, I love The Witcher 3, so I, I did not have The Witcher 2, so I figured why not pick it up for $350, and it is worth more than $350, so I thought that was a good deal. I don't know what it is with these weird GameStop cases smelling like extremely weird sometimes when you open them up, like the plastic has just got this horrible smell to it. Then I got Civilization Revolution. This was three bucks for Xbox 360. And it is also complete. That's actually one that I've been wanting to pick up. I was happy to find that one. And then I got Plants vs. Zombies. Now, these last two are from the same woman slash kid that I mentioned earlier. And, uh, she like she she literally saw these games and about had a panic attack like well, are you getting rid of your Xbox stuff like you play your Xbox all the time and the woman was just nuts but anyway I got Plants vs Zombies and it also has Peggle which I love and Zuma on it as well and there goes the other game and this is complete I do not have Plants vs Zombies. So I was happy to add this to my collection, especially because it has Peggle on it, and I love Peggle. Like, I found that game on my phone a long time ago, and I was obsessed, I mean obsessed, over that game, and still am. I don't know, it's like the Plinko aspect, kind of, of it, like, a little bit, if y'all get what I'm saying. Like, that just intrigued me. I just like it a lot. But anyway, basically, I picked that game up mainly for Peggle, but... Um, I have not played Plants vs. Zombies yet, and I've heard really, really good things about it, so I need to try that game out as well. I also picked up, again, this, this was like four, and this was four. This one was actually, both of them were worth four, in my opinion, but I think this one's worth a little bit more money than Plants vs. Zombies. That's Fable 2, which I did not have for my collection. And this is also complete. So I picked that one up to add to my collection as well. And that is the disc-based stuff. And then I have a few things that I got from Toys R Us right before they closed. And I know nobody collects this stuff, but these two were 40 cents, 40 cents a piece. So at the time, I thought they were $2 each, so I only got two. If I knew they were 40 cents each before I went and purchased them, I would have gotten like all of them. There was maybe like six or seven of them. But I only picked up two because I thought they were $2 each. And I was not about to wait back through the long line to get out of there to get the other ones. So 
uh, they're Skylander Superchargers vehicles. This is a burn cycle. I don't play this very much at all, but again, I'm not going to pass it up for 40 cents. And then you got Skylander Superchargers Splatter Splasher. This is a this is a C vehicle, and this is obviously fire. So I got those two. I had more in my cart, but then I decided I didn't want to pay two dollars each for them. Then when they rang up for 40 cents, I was mad at myself. But uh, because these are always, even if you don't play the game that much, these are always nice just to like have you know sitting around as like collector pieces, even though they're not worth anything at all. Just to kind of have sitting on yourself because I mean these vehicles to me they look really cool so and they remind me of my childhood and all these like weird vehicles that we had in the 90s that we used to play with and we got at kids mills and stuff like that I don't know why but it does and then I got this which was 60 cents and this was the last one I, like I found it on a random shelf everything there when I went to Toys R Us like literally there was like three rows and the rest of the store was shut down and this was just randomly thrown on a shelf this is Skylander Supercharger Sky Racing Action Pack. It's got Astro Blast, Sky Trophy, and a Sunrunner in it. This was 60 cents. I mean, in my opinion, even if I never open this, which I probably will, this would just be nice to sit on the shelf somewhere, I think, because I just think it looks cool. So, 60 cents, I mean, come on. I do not need this. And, uh, I don't know if I'm ashamed of myself <laughs> for picking this up. But it's Skylanders Imaginators. It was 10 bucks, which is basically probably what it's worth. But I was not about to drive all the way to Roanoke, which is like an hour away from me, to go to Toys R Us to like not get basically anything. So this was like a desperation buy slash excuse buy slash I don't need it buy, but I'm buying it anyway to add in my collection buy. So that's what this is. <laughs> and that is all the gaming stuff. I have two more things to show you really quick. If I can get the games out of the way. Actually, I have three more things. I forgot about this. You guys know how obsessed I am with Lion King. Random as hell. But it is a Lion King, like, little tiny tote bag thing that used to be, like, a Subway kids meal thing. I don't know. It had Lion King on it, so I picked it up. And then I also got this because I have a lot of Disney prints. And I've shown some in the past, and you, you guys seem to really enjoy them. So I thought I would show this one too. I think this is from Lady and the Tramp 2. Because I this is not Lady and the Tramp 1. But it was $2 at Goodwill. And I believe the second Lady and the Tramp was called like Scamps Adventure or something. I actually like that one better than the first Lady and the Tramp. I know I'm weird. But uh, I believe it's a scamp. The scamp is uh, the boy right here. So I have a lot of these in my living room. So I'm going to add this to my living room. I need to open it first, though, and get this dirt that's kind of, like, trapped underneath it out. But for two bucks, I was not going to pass it up. And it is official Disney. It says at the bottom, it's Disney. So, nice to know that. And then this, if you guys know me, which I don't think I've ever mentioned this on this channel, but I love, I love New York. And I just thought I'd show this because this is awesome to me. It's Statue of Liberty. This is Liberty Island, technically. You can see Island down there. And on the bottom... It says Statue of Liberty, Liberty Island, New York, and then it's got a quote from George Bush on September 20th, 2001. And this was $10 at a thrift shop. It's called Restore. I haven't been there in forever, and they didn't have, like, anything at all, like, the last time I went there, and they've gotten a lot more stuff, so I'm going to start going back there. I know it's 10 bucks, but, like, seriously, if you got this in New York, this would probably easily be at least 50 bucks. so... I'm definitely happy to get this. I collect New York stuff. I love New York. It's like my favorite place ever. So, um, well, it's between that and Disney World because I'm a dork. But, uh, anyway, I got this. Thought I would show you guys that as well. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the games that I picked up. Also, if you're interested in anything that I showed that I mentioned that I'm going to either be giving a GameStop or is up for trade, let me know, because I would love to work out a trade before giving it to GameStop. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button below. Also hit the notification bell, because YouTube is weird. And I hope everybody has a great day, and make sure you are compassionate to each and every one around you. Thanks for watching.